Good morning. <laughs> Welcome on back to TK's Garage. I feel like a new person after getting a night's rest. And then I woke up sad and I saw the nightmare that I will be working on today. But, but besides that, we're going to talk about something different today. This is your quote-unquote morning episode. We have our regular episode, uh, which you guys will see later today, where we get more in-depth onto the 1953 uh, Pontiac Chieftain. If you're interested in that content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you do not miss it. It's going to be very interesting later today. Um, today, this morning, what we're getting into is I'm a big fan of Lotuses. And um, this has to be the cheapest, right? Cur currently where it's sitting right now, this has to be the cheapest priced Lotus ever. Like that I've seen anywhere. I'm talking about burned, fire damage, nothing left but the frame. This has to be the cheapest Lotus ever, and it's not fire damaged. It's not burnt to the frame. It's uh, it's just there. Roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome on back to TK's Garage, and today we're going to take a look at this Lotus, which currently is sitting at Copart right now for thirty bucks. Say that again, three zero dollars, unbelievably cheap. It's insane. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it in the app. We're going to look at some of the pictures and stuff of it, and then uh, you guys can tell me what you think. I've always wanted a Lotus. I've even looked at one of these. You can go back. I I went hands on with a Lotus. Avora uh, at Kansas, at Copart in Kansas City, there was one there that had some minimal front end damage. This one looks like it has a little bit more significant damage, but um, estimated retail value of the cars, 55 grand. I don't know if they qualify as supercars, but they are super friggin' cool if you ask me. We're gonna go uh, check it out. So let's go jump in, check this thing out. Uh, I'll get your opinions. We'll see what you guys think in the comments. Um, and then go from there. Let's talk about some unbelievable ish, man. This is it right here. Look at this Lotus. 30 bucks. Y'all see that on the screen? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 bucks. $30, man. Pure sale. What I love about pure sales is whatever it sells for, that's what it sells for. If it sells for 100 bucks, it's gone. Um, I'm sure it'll sell for much more than that. Let's go ahead and look at the damage to the car. So we know what we're dealing with here. Yeah, that's all fiberglass. That's all one piece, by the way. Uh, very similar to what you see on other cars, but it looks like, is the headlight broken? Yeah, it cracked. All right. So a headlight, and then you need that whole front piece. You need the front bumper cover piece. Is that also pl plastic? Okay, it's plastic. This is fiberglass, the hood thing. And that's all one piece. I think that one was broken at uh, Kansas. I want to. This is, this looks very similar. I wonder if this is the same one from Kansas and someone just didn't fix it. Eighteen thousand three forty three fifty. No, that's not it. But damn, man, look at that. So to be honest, this looks bad, but because it is a fiberglass car, all right, um, it wouldn't surprise me if. You know, it was total just for how much that hood piece cost. I mean, you could probably have one manufactured or um, you could buy one. I mean, I'm, I'm sure. I don't, I'm just really shocked that they totaled this car for just that in the front bumper. I'm sure the headlight's not cheap. But, I mean, I know the car's only worth fifty five grand according to what they're saying with Copart. But let me put this in HD mode so we can get a really good picture of this thing. But it looks really nice everywhere else i don't see any damage around that door you got airbags which don't they'll total the car out much quicker for airbags too yeah yeah i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments but again 30 bucks i mean 30 bucks that's crazy that is absolutely crazy i have to say 30 bucks 
in Utah. Let me know if you guys are interested in this. It wouldn't be a bad thing for me to take a trip to Utah. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Let's go ahead and get out of here and wrap up. So what do you guys think? Um, me personally, do I think it's going to stay at 30 bucks? No. Well, TK is clickbait. No, it's not. The car is sitting at 30 bucks. You got to see it for yourself. Uh, that's the thing I think that drives me the most nuts. Is people will be like, you'll never buy that car at 30 bucks. You'll be surprised. Let me be clear. Before all this YouTube stuff and internet stuff was popping about these insurance auctions and salvage auctions, do you know that regularly you could find a good running and driving car for like sub a thousand bucks? Like every day and five times on Sundays. Like ridiculous. But there you have it. It's a Lotus. It's 30 bucks. Three zero. That's it. That's ridiculous, man. Um, go check it out. The lot number, all the information and all that stuff is uh, in the video. You can go to copart.com and check it out yourself. If you want to sign up to bid, if you want to become a member like me and so many other people here from the TK's Garage family are, then uh, go to copart.com forward slash TK's Garage and sign up to be a member. Uh, you guys have asked me about that Porsche Carrera GT. And um, yes, at probably by the time you guys are seeing this video, I'm probably on my way to St. Louis to put hands on that car. Um, so stay tuned for that. And um, lots more content coming for you guys on that 1953 Pontiac Chieftain. We're going to see what we can get done with that. I think I think there's some, some things we're going to be able to do with that car. And I'm really looking forward to it. With that said, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Go check out all of our sponsors' links in the description. We got Ridge Wallet, Lowe's Mobile USA, Mint Mobile, Visible, Coinbase, Robinhood, and Amazon. Um, that is the big boy sponsor now is Amazon, man. I got I to gotta tell you, um, I'll do that in another video. Make sure you go check out my second channel, my financial channel, uh, More With TK, because I'm going to be getting into just how much money can be made on social media and uh brand deals man brand deals anyways see you guys on the next one peace Whoopee!